Mr. Sibyl, appreciate you joining us. Uh, uh, Mr. Sibyl, if you can hear me. In light of the recent meeting between the wrestlers and the sports minister, which just went down a short while ago, six hours of conversation, where the wrestlers discussed their demands in detail, five demands have been put forth uh, to uh, the sports minister and the government. What is your response uh, to the outcome, considering your previous prediction that the charge sheet if filed, would be inconclusive and will yield no substantial results. No, but what, what can I say? I, I had already predicted that uh, nothing would happen. He would not be arrested. And uh, it came out to be true. I mean, the attitude of the Delhi police from the very beginning suggested that, uh, that Bridge Bhushan will not be arrested. Just, just look at the events. When these complaints were made, it's not as if that the complaints were made for the first time uh, recently. This has been going on for some time, but when a formal complaint was made, they did not register an FIR. The Delhi police ought to have registered an FIR when women, especially wrestler icons, have complained about sexual abuse. The first thing that the Delhi police could have, should have done is to record their statements and register an FIR. They didn't do that. So we had to go to the Supreme Court. Then in the Supreme Court, the Solicitor General said that, look, give us a bit of time. So a bit of time was given. Then he came the next day and said, all right, we will register an FIR. So in other words, the, persuade, the government was persuaded to tell the Supreme Court that an FIR should have been registered when the Delhi police should have done it on its own. This is the first, first indication that the Delhi police were hand in gloves with the government. The government was telling the Delhi police what to do. Number two, number two, immediately the 164 statements of these uh, girls should have been recorded, of the victims should have been recorded. This is the normal practice. That was not done. Immediately thereafter, the statement of Rich Bhushan Singh should have been recorded. That was not done. So there's a lot of delay there. That also indicated that the Delhi police was uh, not going to proceed uh, in the manner in which they proceed in other matters. Thereafter, uh, you know, the, the protests took place, arrest of dem demand for arrest was made, then they were shabbily treated, they were beaten up. You know that, all that, that happened, that's all in the public view now. Uh, and now, of course, the, the Home Minister uh, meets them. And in the meantime, they have recorded his statement. They have also recorded the statement of others. There are also corroboration of the statements um, of, of, of the, in respect of the allegations of the victims. And uh, yet there is no arrest. So obviously, okay. uh, they are going to file the charge sheet. There will be no arrest. And when... When there is no arrest, the court will say there is no need to arrest him now, after the filing of the charge sheet. And remember, whether but, POXO applies or does not apply, but the, okay, Mr. The, the, the allegations are such that if he is convicted and if they are found to be true, he, will, he, he can get an imprisonment, uh, he can be punished for up to five years imprisonment. If so a charge sheet, Mr. Sibyl... Right, Mr. Sibyl, you're saying if a charge sheet is filed by the 15th of this month, then in any case, the Delhi police has not arrested Mr. Bridgebushan, Sharan, uh, which was one of their demands where the wrestlers are concerned. Number two, however, if a charge sheet is filed on the basis of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the FIR and the charges that have been put in the FIR, then the court can mandate uh, an arrest, uh, Mr. Sibyl. But the sheer fact, the question I want to ask you, Mr. Sibyl, is that when the wrestlers walked out of their meeting with the sports minister, they did confirm to the press that the sports minister has told them that FIRs against them that were lodged on the 28th of May will be dropped. And the sports minister has further assured them, Mr. Sibyl, that the charge sheet which we were talking about will be filed by the Delhi police by the 15th of June. Do you find it a little strange that the sports minister is speaking on behalf of the Delhi police? Absolutely. In fact, the sports minister and the government has nothing to do with it. Investigating agencies ought to function independently of the executive. But here, as you know, the executive is in fact directing the investigating agency what to do, and that's clear from the facts. And remember, in all these events, the prime minister is silent, the home minister was silent, 
the BJP was silent, the RSS was silent. Nobody said a word. That's indication enough to the investigating agency not to do anything. But Mr. S but Mr. Sibyl, now there is an indication. Now you've been fighting this case in the court where the wrestlers are concerned. There's an indication now that the minor complainant on whose behalf you have approached court has filed a new statement under section 164 under the magistrate. She's taken back, I believe, her earlier statement uh, and it's been retracted. Now what are the possible legal implications of a POXO case from here on if that statement has actually been retracted, Mr. Sibyl? So whether POXO applies or does not apply has no relevance at all to the fact that if there is sexual assault, even if POXO doesn't apply, it's a cognizable offence, punishable up to five years and it's non-bailable. So if POXO fails in court, the whole charge of the wrestlers, their biggest demand is the arrest of Bridge Bhushan. But if POXO, like you just said, doesn't apply, would you suggest that there should still be an arrest? And if so, why? No, no. Well, see, it's like this. When the statements of the, of, the, of the victims are recorded, when this has been happening over the years, when an inquiry was conducted, when they met the Home Minister earlier, the Home Minister knew about all this. Why were, why were, why were things not done in between, right from January? Why, why did we have to go to court? This only shows that the, the, for them, elections are more important than the modesty of women. But on the contrary, Mr. Sibyl, there is a huge uh, uh, a lobby and a lot of people who also seem to suggest that it's not as clear as it what it looks like. Bridge Bhushan has every right to a free and fair investigation and why, you know, go through media trials and hang him before? That's true. That's true. He's, he's entitled to. That's, that is true of all cases where there is sexual assault. Everybody should be entitled to a fair, fair and free investigation. No doubt about it. But, but, but ask, the, ask the Delhi police and ask the government in how many cases do they not arrest? But, Mr. Sibyl, can the police, on its own account, close the POXO investigation against Bridge Bhushan Sharan? Now, does it have to come directly from the court? And can the court now refuse to close the POXO investigation, even though there is a retraction of the statement by the minor? No, the, see, as far as the court is concerned, even if the police were to file a closure report in, in respect of a particular offence, the court can agree with it, can disagree with it. The court can agree with the, uh, with the, with the uh, closure report. Then there is a protest petition that can be filed by the victim. Uh, and then the court can decide on the protest petition. So I don't know what, what procedure will be followed. But either case, it makes no difference. The offences are serious. And, uh, and, uh, and of course now, there's no question of arresting him if they file the charge sheet. So Mr. Sibyl, for someone who's fighting the case for the wrestlers in court, uh, what you're saying is that one of the demands of the five demands where the wrestlers have put forth uh, to the government through the sports minister today is the arrest of Bridgebush and Sharad. With what you've just told us, sir, there's a huge probability that the man in question, Mr. Bridgebush and Sharan, will not be arrested now. If you haven't arrested the accused during the course of investigation, there's no reason to, investi uh, to arrest him after the investigation is over. So obviously, what I said, what I said turned out to be true. All right, so till the charge sheet, the Delhi police will not uh, arrest Mr. Bridgebushan Sharan. That's what it looks like. And once the charge sheet is filed, then it's up to the court uh, to send him into judicial custody or not. Thank you, Mr. Sibyl, for joining us. Appreciate it.